Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I bid to the honorable judges, a timekeeper, and members of the floor. My name is Nur Izara Aisha Betty Muhammad Ubaidullah. I am 11 years old. I am a pupil of 5 Al Farabi and Skisi Parawai Mara Turunganu. My school code is TBA 4019. I am the eldest of three siblings. Being the eldest, I have learned to become independent and responsible. My parents, both are teachers, they always encourage me to read and I can consider myself an avid reader. I love reading English books, especially fiction, since it allows me to be more imaginative and creative. From my hobby of reading, I am inspired to draw on my, on my notebook and make it my own storybook. Now, talking about fiction book, let me tell you one of the books I read recently. Stranded on Kapas Island, written by Ghazali Musa, is an adventure novel that takes readers on Saki's journey on Kapas Island. This book that I read is one of the books in the orange dove Sanrian Berhad. It has 255 pages and 32 chapters. The theme of this story is adventure. The story is about a boy named Saki. Saki lives with his parents and his four siblings. They all live in Bukit Temiang. After the last school holiday, his father took him and his siblings to their grandparents' house in Marang, which was only three minutes walk to the sea. It was the first time Soki saw the sea and the beach. Soki, the main character, began his journey to Kapas Island with his Toki. He was a very excited since he only heard about the beauty of the island several times before his parents. Toki said that island has legend that some animals could speak to people. Without hesitation, he agreed to follow along his turkey to go fishing there. Actually, he forgot that he was affected by motion sickness during the bus ride two days before. The next day, Toki helped Saki to pack up the things that were needed on Kapas Island. As they approached the entrance to the sea, the waves started hitting the boat violently. The boat thumped and swayed to the left and right and it bounced up and down at the mercy of the unpredictable wave. At first, Saki was very excited watching the wave and watching the wave, but soon after that, he began to feel woozy or nauseous. Saki also experienced flying fish and it was the first time he saw the he ever seen dolphins. After 10 minutes on Kapas Island, all the symptoms of seasickness Saki had suffered were vanished. He was in awe of the beauty of the island. The idea of going fishing diminished quickly from Saki's mind when his Saki suggests him to wait at Kapas Island while his Saki go fishing. The boy was filled with joy as being alone for a few hours on a tropical island was an incredible opportunity. Doki promised to fetch him in the evening. Unexpectedly, Doki was caught in a violent storm with gale force winds at the sea and he failed to return to Kapas Island. So, Soki found himself stranded alone on the island. Despite feeling scared and abandoned, Saki started exploring the bounties on the island as in its surrounding sea. He befriended three big animals, Rita, a python, Nua, a ladybug turtle, and Liki, a shark. The boy discovered that he was able to communicate with these animals in several ways. In the next four days, Rita, Nua, and Liki separately shared their knowledge and wisdom with Saki guiding the boy on how to survive and, lead, and leading him through a beautiful journey in search of his missing grandfather. So this is my favourite part because it highlights how different animals could help Saki face difficulties during his journey stranded alone on the island. In my opinion, this novel is full of action-packed adventure that keeps readers 
from the each of the six from beginning to end. The authors the authors detailed descriptions of the Terengganu cultures that have heavy breakfast such as nasi dagang and nasi lemak, also kain sarung wearing and so on. This style of his writing has readers imagine how beautiful the creatures in the sea and island. One of the key values that can be learned stranded on Kapas Island is the importance of perseverance and determination in survival. Despite, feeling, despite facing the problem, Saki, with his high determination, learned everything that he could to survive on the island until his grandfather rescued him. To me, I, f I feel that determination is very important to a pupil like me. To succeed in anything I do, I must be determined to achieve my goal in spite of the challenges that I might face. Giving up is not an option. Another value that can be learned from the novel is the importance of smart thinking. Throughout his journey on the island, all the survival he did by himself. He ate the coconut to survive. He smashed the coconut at the base of a tree trunk and quickly sipped the sweet coconut water. To me, personally, being able to find solution to the problem we face is crucial in order to achieve our goal. Overall, Stranded on Kepas Island offers readers an exciting adventure but also a partly valuable life lesson. This book is suitable for all ages, especially pre-teenagers who are looking for a book to read in this bad time. Therefore, I highly recommend this book to those who love stories of a, of a good adventure. That's all. Thank you.